50,000 times faster than typical broadband. If you have access to the loop, you have access to the world. The loop also links school to school. Brightwater Primary now has what it could never otherwise have afforded. Fast, unlimited access to learning online. We can go into a program and it's right there waiting for us rather than us waiting for that. We don't have breakdowns. We have instant access and we have kids who can now have a real personal input into their learning because they can upload their own work, save it out there onto the net, access it from home, access it from school. We can have the whole school online at once. That's 250 kids if we wanted to. And for just $140 a month, it now has access to some of the best education programs in the world on video. And it's the world they live in. They're 21st century learners. They grow up with television, cell phones, iPods, all of those things. This is just an extension of that. Nelson, New Zealand. The loop links 20 schools across the top of the South Island in Nelson and Marlborough. They're joined by 300 kilometres of fibre optic cable laid by a local power company, Network Tasman. It's incredibly exciting because we're doing something that is almost unique internationally. We're not aware of anywhere else where a network is actually being built from the ground up and it's being built with teaching and learning as the number one priority. The system would be far too expensive for any one school to afford, but by pooling their money and with a million dollars from the Ministry of Education, the schools have made it work. No longer is each school sort of individually trying to negotiate a good deal to the internet. We've got together economies of scale and the quality of our network meant we could act a bit like an ISP, an internet service provider, and we've actually brought our own pipe to Wellington and then a pipe out into the internet. With the loop, there's not a lot to physically see, but in this room is the brain of the operation. But here's a digital picture of the loop at work. The blue represents internet data from around the globe coming into the loop, and the red dots and lines are email. We're going to take an mp3 song and we're going to download it. Charles Newton showed how quickly it can download an mp3 file. It didn't take a second. On the loop that took 0.4 of a second to download. If you're waiting for it at home, it's going to be somewhere between 7 and 14 minutes. And a DVD movie didn't take a minute. On fibre it took less than a minute. And if you're waiting at home, you're somewhere between a week and two weeks. Morning John. And it's a short walk, rather than a two-hour drive, to talk to the principal of Collingwood School. The loop means rural schools are no longer isolated. So, so you feel very much a part of the world, the modern moving world. Yes. That must be cool out there in Collingwood. Oh, I mean, it's great. I mean, we'd like to ignore the rest of the world much of the time, but, uh, <laughs> you know, that's not actually really practical. And certainly in terms of giving our students the best educational opportunities, um, it's, not, it's not what we want. So we have to keep up. We have to be in touch. The Nelson Marlborough Loop's just won an award for innovation. Eventually, 80 local schools will be hooked up to it. There are similar projects starting up around the country, and it's envisaged that one day all schools around the country will be hooked up to a super loop. And of course, if we've managed to show these benefits of economies of scale and collaboration and cooperation just within our local area, imagine how powerful it will be when these loops work together. If some things have remained the same at school, the loop is the emerging face of education, bringing the world into the classroom the way it's never been done before. When students can actually contact scientists or contact poets, have video conferences where they discuss an author's work, then we're really moving into a level of engagement and immediacy that is really looking at 21st century learning. Wonderful, hey, Richard Langston from the...